Hello everyone. I hope you are doing good. In this video you will learn about maps and their different types. So let us start our today's class. We all know maps are of utmost importance if we want to travel from one place to another. They help us to figure out where we are and how to get where we want to go. For example, if we want to travel from one country to another or from one place to another inside a country, then we use a map. There are a variety of maps available to us, showing different political and physical features of states, countries and the world. You must have seen a world map. It gives us information about all the continents and oceans, but not in their accurate shapes and sizes. I know it would be surprising to hear, but this is true that the world map does not represent the exact size and shape of the continents and oceans. Can you think of the reason behind it? It is because our earth is spherical in shape and when it is drawn on a flat surface, the drawing gets distorted. To understand it better, you can take an old rubber ball and draw whatever you like all over it. You may also mark the North Pole and the South Pole on it. Now cut the ball with a knife and try to flatten it. You can notice how the drawings are distorted. Similarly, a flat map cannot accurately show the curved surface of the earth. When a map is drawn, the shapes and sizes of the continents and oceans get distorted. The maximum distortion occurs in the regions around the poles while the equatorial region can be shown with reasonably less distortion. Hence it is suggested to use a globe. Globe is a true model of the earth. It is useful when we want to study the earth as a whole, but when we want to study only a part of the earth as about our country, state, district, towns, and villages, it is of little help. For that purpose, we use maps. A map can be defined as a representation or a drawing of the earth's surface or a part of it, drawn on a flat surface according to a scale. A map is different from a globe in many ways. First, globe is bulky and cannot be carried easily whereas map is easy to handle and can be carried everywhere. The second difference is a globe cannot show the details of landforms, the location of small towns and villages whereas a map gives us detailed information about a place. So we can say Maps are useful to us for various purposes. One map shows a small area and a few facts. Another map may contain as many facts as a big book. A book that contains a variety of maps is known as an atlas. Or you can say when many maps are put together we get an atlas. I hope this much is clear to you. Now let us go to the next topic, types of maps. Maps are of various types, providing different kinds of information. On the basis of the information provided, we have classified them into three different types. The first one is physical maps. The second one is political maps. And the third one is thematic maps. Let us know about each type of map in detail. Political maps 
political maps show the boundaries of administrative units such as countries states and districts different types of boundaries are shown with different symbols they also show the location of cities towns and villages the next one is physical maps they show the land forms and water bodies on the earth surface such as mountains plateaus plains rivers lakes and seas the different features are shown in different colors now come to the last one that is thematic maps they show the distribution of forest crops minerals industries etc the title of the thematic maps is given on the basis of the information provided in these maps for example a climatic map shows the climatic conditions of an area similarly a rainfall map shows the distribution of rainfall of an area i hope this is clear to you now you can easily identify the different types of maps available to us so let us end today's class here in the next video we will continue with components of maps do subscribe my channel and get notifications about upcoming videos thank you everyone